Hello there. Hello there. This is Linux Upskill Challenge Day 4. Today we will talk about how to install a new application, learn a little bit about the standard directories, configuration files. Okay, so I'm back to my server and today I'm going to install Midnight Commander. We are using Ubuntu. We are going to use APT. This is one of the tools that is used for for managing packets in a Debian based distribution. There are other package management systems out there, DPKG. You probably will see also Aptitude and Synaptic. On the other side for Red Hat, you're gonna see Yum still going around a lot. DNF, this is a better version of Yum. You're gonna see at least two types of packets. One is it ends with dot rpm that is for red hat based distributions like fedora and centos and dot deb ubuntu debian and other debian based we're not going to get into this too much because there are differences between the package managers we're going to keep it simple and if you if you're new to linux and you never use it uh, Linux distribution before, pick one package manager like APT, you're already using Ubuntu so you might as well learn how to use APT. We're going to install Midnight Commander. I don't know what is the package name for that. So I'm going to use APT search Midnight Commander. So it's going to do a search and it found MC is the name of the package. sudo, remember this is a root privilege action so I need the power of sudo to execute this. Feel the power. Oh, I can feel it. apt install mc. You see that one of the things that is that is common between those package managers is the ability to resolve dependencies and to suggest packages. They can do this in various levels, in many different forms. APT is one of the best in resolving dependencies, so you can see that the suggested packets, I'm not spelling out to the APT that I want those packets because I don't know the dependencies of the package that I really want to install. APT does that for me, yes, and installing for me. Let's try it out, Midnight Commander, AMC. But I want to show you another command, man hierarchy, H I E R for hierarchy, gives me a description of the file system hierarchy. So we know that slash is the root directory, everything is below that. We also use it home, home directories for users. The directory that the most important is etc, and I'm going to read this out, contains configuration files which are local to the machine. Side-wide configuration files may be placed here. Programs should always look for these files in etc. This is pretty clear. Configuration files are going to be found in slash etc most of the time. One configuration file, etc, ssh, ss the config is a configuration file. You see there's parameters here. This is the sshd server system wide configuration file. Port 22, address, login, ls, etc. Configurations. You see there is a lot of .conf, .conf, .conf. Even the ones that don't have a .conf or .cfg, they are configuration files. Be aware of the slash etc directory for your configuration. This is going to become clearer with the lessons of this challenge. It's important that you get familiar with the manuals and the documentation and learn to read what the configuration files are going to say. When you are going to configure new programs, new applications they're going to install, you're probably not going to have a nice GUI configuration screen. You're going to do that on the configuration file. Be aware that you're probably going to touch slash etc file at some point. So this one was a quick one. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.